February 12th activity in Panama by David. Found that I traveled when I was in the service down there. Check this out. Fireball or satellite or could it be an asteroid? Looks like the same characteristic as the one in uh, supported by Hawaii observatories. As it skims, it just travels the sky. There's more images. Here's the information. Fair Spears of Fire sighted in Panama. It was even seen in Costa Rica. What could it be? I think it's an asteroid and, I, and I'll prove it. I'm, I'll put the piece of the puzzle on the table. Back that up. Okay, this one's from Costa Rica. Okay, this is filmed from Costa Rica. See, none of them are going downward. skimming the atmosphere okay the this town right here okay let's first look at the first sighting in panama right here david right by the border of costa rica now the other sighting was spotted recorded right here punta arena so the object flew was going northward when it went to punta arena which is west of the capital of san jose so with the two images it traveled from here to here so it's going in this direction It was going in this direction. Remember, from David to Punta Arena, no, almost, and then this way. Why do I feel this is it's an asteroid? Because if you look at spaceweather.com, and by the way, we're still in the solar radiation storm. Right here, February 12th, we had an asteroid 24 CY1. And we look at the data on it. It says 5 millimeters, uh, size of a car or truck. Okay, but if we look at the data of that asteroid, and it's code 7, which is pretty high. Judging from that, it probably was a 8 or 9. I say a 9. They had it at a 0. 3 lunar distance 71,000 miles approximately above the surface but if we take this data right here just paste it and go back we're looking at 143 miles I rounded it off 144 miles above the surface and looking at that image that's about just about right now if we go back to the 8th of February take a look at this one also 7 the minimum in other words they're guessing and a lot of observation for one day Okay, we're looking at 346 miles above the surface. Why do I bring this one up? If you go in my index, re-entry, February 8th. Okay, this is February 8th. Same characteristics. And we had a shooting star right beside it. See how it's going sideways? It's not going downward. Now, there's been 90% plus chance this was a, a, a satellite. But we had this before. I think it was a year or two years ago when we had a similar asteroid fly by Toronto, Canada. I'll pull that video up in a second. See? Same characteristics. Now... If these are satellites, that means we got satellites falling from the sky, probably from the solar storm, solar radiation, who knows? Hey, this video right here, a year ago, 2022 WJ1, November 9th, it says zero lunar distance, and it's saying one, one millimeter. Take a look. Okay, this was a small one. So I'm thinking this, this is an asteroid breaking up, and it's bigger than five, five millimeters. And it's just skimming the sky. Was it 143 miles above the surface? So that's what I have. That's my opinion. That's what I think. It's just coincidence. Those two days that near Earth asteroids. And then we have these two events at the same time. I mean, that looks bigger than five millimeters. If it is an asteroid. Now, if it's a satellite, it just happened to be the two same day that we had two near asteroids skimming our atmosphere. I mean, we already had an asteroid in Germany impact, what, a month ago? But it was a small one. I mean, what could be knocking down those satellites? If it is satellites being knocked down from the sky, this right here. Now, if this thing has happened, it's on the west side of the sun. If that thing was facing right here where my pointer's at, it'll hit, it'll be directly right towards us. And who knows? By fire, they said. And also, too, so the activity hasn't died down. Oh, by the way, I got my uh, webcam up and running. Let's take a look. There I am. Uh, that's Grandpa. And so I got the webcam. I'm going to get this together and... 
talk to you guys. Yeah, I wear my military police hat. Proud of it. Proud veterans. So that's what we have. I already got uh, uh, the AI in Canva. It's, uh, it's, it's not as easy as uh, as people. I mean, these creators, I mean, I got to give them credit. It's not easy to what they do. And they deserve every, every single dollar they get. I mean, trying to... I mean, people go to college and technical school to learn this stuff. The old man's trying to put all this together and... I could expand. Oh, by the way, too, good news. I mean, I had bad news with the sheriff serving me uh, divorce papers, but uh, I got good news. TikTok uh, lift my ban after today, so my account in TikTok is uh, vetfather333. It's up and running. Facebook still got me banned for that video. Those three people. So little by little, and I'm do learning how to do the split screen with the OBS. Do more better, better more lights in the moon. February 12th and this guy's a great astronomer as we get closer and closer to with the clips and the comet and all the signs in the stars so many people man they're on target everybody's I mean be nice to get them all together all of us together on a how I got this this thing and I could get the zoom you know like a panel and 95% plus are younger very intelligent very insightful but pick the old man's brain to to comets and and stuff because every day i learn something new pretty hard to, gotta get used to this camera up there so okay guys until next time good night